Hi guys, I wanted to show you this alternative method for factoring. So a lot of us are familiar with the yellow part of this, the X with the AC and the B, but this uh, fraction looking bar that goes across the X with the A's, that part is new. And this is sometimes called the superstar method, sometimes called the super X method. Uh, and we fill this in, we figure out what numbers belong here and here, and then we reduce these fractions. And they will essentially tell us the solution to factoring a problem that is ax squared plus bx plus c. So when we don't have a 1 in front. And there's an example on the next slide. So I have this function, or sorry, this polynomial that needs to be factored. And I'm going to start by making my superstar. So I start with my, um, that's too far over. Start with my big X, and I have to draw my line through the middle. A, C, B. So A times C goes up here, so that would give me negative 36. B goes down here, that's negative 5. And then A goes again here and here. So that's just me filling it out, and now I need to do the same approach that I've done before, which is figure out two numbers that multiply to give me this, that add to give me this. So I'm going to go over here to my scratch paper. I need two numbers that multiply to give me negative 36, that add to give me negative 5. So multi and add. So 36 would be 6 times 6. That's not going to get me to 5. It's also 4 times 9. Okay, and 4 and 9, some combination of those will give me a 5. So how about negative 9 and positive 4? That would give me a negative 5. So let's go back over to our last slide. I want negative 9 and positive 4. So now I have my two fractions right here and right here, and I need to reduce them. So, pick a different color, pink, 6, that's really 2 times 3, 9, that's really negative 3 times 3, uh, 6 is really 2 times 3, and 4 is really 2 times 2. So I can cancel things out, this 3 will go with this 3, and this 2 can go with this 2. So I've got left over, and it might be a little hard to see, a lot of stuff going on. This number, this number, this number, and this number. And now I use those to fill in my factoring. So I just go in order, top, bottom, and then left, right. So 2, fill in my variable, m, minus 3, 3, m, plus 2. And I have factored that polynomial. So let's do it one more time. I have 6x squared plus 17x plus 12. So a, b, the top is a times c, so 6 times 12, that's 60, 72. And the bottom, which is b, are 17. So now I need two numbers that will multiply to give me 72 and add to give me 17. So let me go over to my scratch. Two numbers that multiply to give me 72 and add to give me 17. So let's see, 72 is 9 times 8, and hey, that works. That will also give me 17. So going back over to my problem, I need to fill in my a's, 6 and 6, and now I need to add the numbers that I just figured out on my scratch paper, and that was 9 and 8. So now I need to reduce these fractions. So 
so that would be really go back over 2 times 3 and 3 times 3 and this is really 2 times 3 and 2 times 4 and that way I, my 2's can cancel so this 3 goes with this 3 this 2 goes with this 2 and I'm left with this 2 that did not work this 2 this 3 this 3 and this 4 and now I just need to add them in to my factoring form so I'm going to steal my variable from up here I keep my x and then I need to fill in from my fractions so I would get a 2 that's a positive 3 and then I would get a 3 and that's a positive 4 and that is the new method that I recently learned from a student actually um, for factoring a polynomial I hope you find it useful